Hi guys, Ashley with Ash Cash Budget here, and this is for basically the middle of the month of June um, budget. Just updating you guys, filling in some of the stuff that I've paid, uh, another check that I got, and just updating this with you guys uh, watching. I hope it all makes sense. I hope that it's enough and focused. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments below. So we left off on the second and I have not updated it since then. It's the 20th. Let's see. We'll start with, I forgot to put my loan in here. So I squeezed it in there. I always end up making my things sloppy and I don't mean to. So I forgot it. I squeezed it in there. It's due on the 20th actually. It's my personal loan for $94.05 a month. My phone bill for some reason went up, so I'm gonna have to cross this out. It was 98.16 and now it's 99.2. I think I think that's just like taxes and fees going up. We'll see next month and see where it's sitting because I didn't see anything extra being charged. Might have just been something that it's starting to go up. Um, as long as it doesn't keep going up, then we'll definitely have a problem there. So then I also got the bill for CenturyLink. So I've said this before, we still have our cable with that. So it's bundled together. We pay CenturyLink. So it's still at 204.90. I really want to try to get something like the Amazon Fire Stick and try that out and then cancel the subscription. I do have a contract, so I think it's something like $20 per month. You have to pay like whatever's left in your month. So we'll see how it balances out. Like I'll let it get a little closer, try out the fire stick. We'll see. Really do want to get rid of that soon. So um, I might have explained it last time, but I was running out of space. Uh, there was, so I put the total amount here, 204.90. And then parentheses is basically my half that I'm actually so all of these bills I pay out of all of these bills I pay out of my account and then I get paid back by my boyfriend um, his part of that which his part is the half amount minus 150 because his, the insurance my insurance health insurance comes out of his check so I take 150 off that I'm paying for it out of the bills that he would owe me uh, I did get the city bill today as well that was $75.16 which comes out to $37.58 now I'm just waiting on the electric last month I think it was it was like $65 or something like that but We've had the air conditioning going nonstop. It's hitting the hundreds, 110 this weekend. So I'm at least expecting 80, maybe more. We'll see. This is the first actual summer that we've had in this house. So we'll see where that goes up to. So I would say that these bills, I did total it out earlier. It comes out, it's going to be roughly, let's see roughly a thousand two hundred and ten dollars total for the total amounts rent 850 204 which for me is basically six hundred and five dollars so then what i get paid back from my boyfriend towards this amount is like 605 minus the 150 it's about 455 okay so now that I have those out of there, I just like to put a little amount uh, about, like it's about this much, just so I know. Um, my other bills down here, I like to total up and those come out to, so I totaled up with the minimum. Here in parentheses, I have the minimum amount for my carry credit is 60. My snowball was 145. See, now it's gonna keep getting messy, sorry guys. 
I gotta mark out the 145 because I'm going to pay for sure. I say I don't even have room for this. We'll just let's we'll draw a little arrow here. Three hundred and thirty-six dollars and sixty-five cents because I'll have enough this month, and that is my remaining amount left on that credit card, and I'm going to pay it off. Three hundred thirty-six sixty-five. So I like to add it up. I add up the minimum amounts first. My minimum payments would be $678.27 to with the full amount of payments is $954.92. Just like to see those amounts there. Up here I'm going to add my cash envelopes. Cash envelopes. I took out 330 the first one, took out 300 the second one, and I'm gonna try to take out 300 for the final one. So that's $930 for my envelopes. Just so I can kind of see what I have coming out and going on here. Um, I did add it up, and I do have it on my every dollar app as well, which is where I can see how much I can put towards my sinking funds. Because after I pay this amount and get that care credit paid off, every last bit, everything extra that I get is going towards my sinking fund this month of paying for when I am not making so much money. Because I don't know how next month is gonna go. I'm saving up, I call it my January fund, but there's some other months where I might get paid a little lower than I'm that I need to cover all my bills so I'm going to put everything extra in my sinking funds which let's see let's sorry guys rambling about here I'm going to add my next paycheck amount which was one thousand two hundred and forty four dollars and fifty eight cents and the church was $150. Just gonna put a little square around that. Now the church amount, I'm not even going to include in adding it and subtracting it because I just take it right out and put it into my cash envelope. So they'll just be a wash, but at least I know how much I have, but they won't be included in the adding and subtracting of bills. We left off on, let's see, so I am expecting about $750 from this check, give or take. It depends on how many hours I get. So when I added that up, we have roughly, when I add up these three paychecks, because it's a three paycheck month, and I add up the amount my boyfriend will give me of $455, I end up with about $3,625. And my bills, this total amount here, this is 1,210, um, the cash envelopes, plus I have $30 I'm gonna take out for my mother's birthday at the end of the month. It's going to be about $3,125 worth of expenses, which means I'll have $500 left over to put into my sinking funds. Um, I've wrote it down a couple times. I just have this sheet I kind of go off of. And I also have my every dollar app that I add everything else up on. And I just adjust, if anything comes up, I will adjust the sinking fund amount to make up for anything that I have to take out. Or if I make more than 750, then the sinking fund will go up. So, and that's all going towards the one sinking fund because I need to save up. Now let's get to balancing this budget, okay? Let's see, the last time we were here was the second $846.96. I don't pay anything else out again until it was the sixth. Now usually my insurance is taken out about the 14th because um, it's due on the 15th. I pay my mom for that, but she wanted to take it out a little sooner, which is fine. So it was $846.96 minus $105 for my insurance. So I just take the total amount minus the insurance. Note that it's for insurance. It's down to $741.96.
Now there is this instance where I went to a store and I actually bought something for her because it was in the town over and she paid me back by taking it off the insurance amount. But since it paid back, it balanced out. I'm just including the whole total of 105 and that covers that it's still all balanced. I hope that makes sense. Now on to 615 where I got paid. $741.96 was the total left, plus $1,244.58. I did try to do the math beforehand, so it would be a little quicker, even though I've been blabbing this whole time. Uh, so that's why I have the numbers readily available. They should be all correct. So with the addition of my check, SCA, let's see, I'll have $1,986.54. Now we'll take out the $300 for cash envelopes. And we are left with $1,686.54. I'm sorry guys, my handwriting is horrible. So now, we're just gonna go to the 20th today. There was two bills I paid yesterday, there's gonna be two bills I paid today, but I'm just gonna minus it all here on the 20th because they're gonna process anyways and take a day or two. So $1,686.54. So going down the line, we have minus $85 for Discover. Minus 9408 for my credit union loan, minus 130 and zero cents for my Fed loan, and minus the whopping $336.65 to care credit. I'm gonna see if I can try to record that somehow so I can share with you guys paying off that credit card. So excited. I'm going to do that today. Um, so, today or tomorrow, but regardless. So now, minus these four things, it is $1,040.81 left over. I will go up here. I'll mark off. I paid the insurance. I paid Discover. I paid Fed Loan. paid Care... Well... I need to pay care credit and I paid the credit union loan so I still have from my side the phone bill and the capital one bill for the and I'll pay that at the very end of the month and all of this stuff I pay at the very end of the month so that because my boyfriend will give me his amount around the 29th around the 30th probably because he gets paid on the 30th he'll give me his full amount and I'll pay all of the other bills out of my account. So until then, I should not be spending anything else until I get paid on the 29th, and I'm probably gonna put in the rent check around the 27th, get paid on the 29th, I'll take out my other cash envelope, and then I'll pay all of the household bills, my phone bill, Capital One, and I'll put the any remaining money left over into my sinking funds. So I'll update you guys then. I'll show you what I have left over to put towards my sinking funds. So I think I covered everything. I hope, I hope it makes sense. I'm sorry it's so sloppy. Maybe I should figure out something better. I've been do using these kind of, um, these kind of yearly, like monthly, what do you call them? Calendars for about three years now. But maybe I can figure out something better. Um, let me know if it's confusing. Till next time, till the end of the month with at least the, the June budget, uh, have, a, have a good time. Thanks, guys. Bye.